Welcome to Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up for the week of May 5th to May 11th. Somerset will hold its annual town meeting on Monday, May 15th, starting at 6 p.m. in the Performing Arts Center at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. Voters will be voting on the budgets for all town departments. They will also be making decisions on proposals to hire a town planner and grant writer. The fire department is asking to buy a fire truck at a cost of $850,000. Fuchella 5 will be held on Saturday from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. at Slades Ferry Park. Organizer Allison Font said it will be the largest food truck festival ever held in town. The event will include 27 food trucks or tents along with a beer garden, music, and vendors that will sell gifts that can be purchased for Mother's Day. There will also be live music from local bands throughout the event. Seven students and the choreographer for Somerset Berkeley Regional High School's production of Shrek the Musical will receive Ocean State Star Awards. Maya Resendiz, who played Princess Fiona in Shrek, will receive an award for Outstanding Lead Performer. Lily Raposo, who played Pinocchio, will receive an award for Outstanding Supporting Performer. Ty Medeiros, Madison Rakowski, Lily Miss, and Haley Shea will receive Outstanding Dance Performer Awards. Taylor Medina will receive the Outstanding Choreographer Award. And Robert Lomax will receive the Outstanding Lighting Design Award. The students and choreographer will receive the awards at a ceremony on June 4th at the Providence Performing Arts Center. In addition, SBRHS students Morgan Machado, who played Donkey in Shrek, Jaden DeCruz, who played Lord Farquaad, Claire Daigle, who played Humpty Dumpty, Cole Lima, who played Shrek, and Emily Shea, who played the Sugar Plum Fairy, have been invited to perform for the awards show. A Best Buddies prom was held at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School on Saturday. Students enjoyed dinner and dancing that was led by disc jockey David Berabee, who donated his services for the prom. Students from SBRHS, Dighton Rehoboth, and Oliver Ames attended the prom that was held in the Student Dining Center at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. Those who helped out with putting on the Best Buddies prom included Tammy Hippolito, Molly Keith, who are the Unified Sports Coaches and Best Buddy Chapter Advisors at the high school, teacher Alice Ferris, parents Rachel Felipe and Shannon Martin, the Best Buddies leadership team that included Cameron Baraby, Lily Medeiros, and Alyssa D. Almeida, B. Wright, and Riley McHugh, Somerset School Committee member Robert Garr, and Playground and Recreation Commissioner Jennifer Garr. Other SBRHF staff members who helped out with the work included Heather Cuplast, Melissa Ruggiero, Kristen McAvoy, Logan Shaker, Ginny Troutman, Laura Calvary, and Lindsay Soares. The SBRHS Parent Teacher Organization donated money for snacks and decorations for the prom. Students had to pay a minimal cost to cover the food for the Best Buddies prom. In sports, the Somerset Berkeley Regional High School baseball team beat Durfee 9-1 on Wednesday to avenge a loss from earlier in the season. Will Dion pitched the first six innings of the game for the Blue Raiders. Jason Lynch pitched the seventh inning. Mason Medeiros had three hits for the Blue Raiders. Cam Hoyle hit a double to drive in Brady Cabral and Alex Crook to open up a 5-1 lead for the Blue Raiders in the sixth inning. Somerset Berkeley now has a 12-2 overall record on the season. The Somerset Berkeley Regional High School tennis team's doubles team of Matt Carlisi and Jackson Souza won the South Coast Conference doubles championship at the conference's tournament over the weekend. They beat another team from SBRHS that consists of Ian Sullivan and Ian Jepson. Both teams won two matches against teams from other schools to advance to the final match on Sunday. 
The tournament was played at the Douglas C. Chapman Tennis Courts at Somerset Berkeley Regional High School. Both teams that played in the final received trophies. The Somerset and Dighton Police Departments played a charity softball game last Saturday to raise money for the Somerset chapter of Wreaths Across America. The Dighton Police Department won the game, but the two departments raised a lot of money for a good cause. The Wreaths Across America chapter puts wreaths on the graves of veterans in Somerset every December. Thank you for watching Somerset Weekly Wrap-Up. Tune in next week for more news from around Somerset.